to make our chocolate from scratch, you will need a few main key ingredients. The first one being a raw cacao butter. I got this bag from Amazon, or you can also get it from many grocery stores actually carry it. So I don't think it should be a problem finding it. And this is what they look like raw. Um, they basically are chunks of cacao butter. And if you smell it, they smell like chocolate. And they provide that necessary fat content in our chocolate bar. So that's the first key ingredient. Um, and the second ingredient, what you will need is either powdered cacao powder or cocoa powder. Um, and I have here in my mason jar, or you'll need a chunk of cocoa nibs or dark, very bitter chocolate that's not sweetened. You'll need one or the other. And this recipe today will include two types of chocolate, one made with cacao powder and one made with this dark chocolate block. And for sweetener, we'll be using maple syrup. I'm also gonna be using um, simple syrup as well. Um, and after making two batches, I actually preferred simple syrup to maple syrup, um, but it's definitely up to you to what you want to use. Um, also, we'll be using a little bit of vanilla extract for that extra flavor, a pinch of sea salt, and that's basically it. That, that's the main ingredients you need. Uh, some of the additions that you can add, I will be using pistachios and almonds for the two batches of chocolate I'm going to make. You can add any other nuts you like, like walnuts, or you can even add some dried fruits. And here I have silicone molds for chocolate. This is the one that I like. I got from Amazon. It's pretty cheap. And my second mold, this is actually mini donut molds um, that I'm going to be using for chocolate as well. Um, and the third one that's not pictured here, I'm just going to use a basic glass dish, uh, meaning that you don't really need any kind of mold to make chocolate. Um, all you need to have is a container. So here I have portioned out my cacao butter and my bitter chocolate for the first batch I'm making. And the ratio you want to use is two to one. So here if I'm using one fourth cup of cacao butter, I'll be using one half cup of solid dark chocolate. Here I have my double boiler set up um, and it's over medium high heat and I have my aluminum pot filled with water and I've set up a glass bowl over it and that's how I'm going to start melting a cacao butter at first. So it shouldn't take long, maybe a minute or so, it melts pretty quickly. Next, we'll be adding our dark unsweetened bitter chocolate or cocoa nibs, whichever one you're using, and we're going to be melting that along with cocoa butter as well. So just give it a few minutes and keep stirring until it's nice and melted. the chocolate is melted now it's time to add our liquid sweetener and here I'm using maple syrup um, you can use however many tablespoons you like I use about two tablespoons of maple syrup and here I'm just adding our sea salt uh, for a little bit of balance of flavor and gently stir that in before we start pouring chocolate into our mold, I chopped up these pistachios and I'm going to just gently sprinkle them in to into our mold before I pour in the chocolate because I want the pistachios to appear on the um, outside of my chocolate bar. Um, and, but you can actually do it before or after you pour your chocolate into the mold. It's definitely up to you. Here's our chocolate. I turned down the heat to low so that the chocolate is thickened up a little bit but still liquid and hot. And I'm going to be using a tablespoon um, and slowly pouring the chocolate into the mold. Uh, be careful with this step. The chocolate is hot, so do it slowly. You don't have to rush. Um, just do it a spoon by spoon. Um, and as you go along, as you fill up, 
the mold a little bit, you can start flattening it out with the spoon to make sure it's spread out evenly and that you don't have um, some parts of the chocolate and the mold that are thinner than the other parts. And once you're done with this step, just place your mold in the freezer for at least an hour before you can transfer it over to the fridge. Now I want to show you the second method of how to make chocolate at home. The first step remains the same. You will also be adding cacao butter in your double boiler and melting it just like that. And the second step is to add a cocoa powder. So I have unsweetened cocoa powder here, and this is probably an easier step um, or easier way to make chocolate because most of you guys probably have cocoa powder at home. Once you add it, gently stir it um, so that it's nice and incorporated with cacao butter. And I found that using spatula left some clumps. So what I did is I picked up my whisk and I started whisking very quickly to make sure the mixture is nice and incorporated and it doesn't have any lumps. And for my sweetener here, I used simple syrup. As you could tell, I just added a tablespoon of that. I just wanted to show you guys some variation that you don't really need maple syrup to use in your chocolate. And I actually prefer simple syrup better. And then I'm using a tablespoon. I'm going to pick up some of this chocolate slowly and uh, transfer it over to a baking sheet that's been lined with parchment paper. I just wanted to show you guys that you don't really need a mold, um, a chocolate mold, to make your chocolate at home. You can literally just use a simple baking dish that you have at home. Just make sure it's glass because the contents are somewhat hot and you don't want to cause any melts um, or any damage to your plastic containers. So using your spoon, slowly transfer over your chocolate, just like that. Um, and then I have some chopped almonds here that I'm adding on top. Um, I definitely like some cr crunch of nuts in my chocolate, as you can tell. So I did pistachios in my first batch and I'm doing almonds in this second It's batch. been about two hours in the freezer and our chocolate is ready to come out of its mold. And I'm just gonna use my one hand to pop this off. As you can see, it comes off very, very easily. And you have your chocolate bar ready to go. And now it's the time to take out our second batch of chocolate, the one that we made with almonds in a baking dish. And you can see, you can pick it up very, very easily like that. And this is what the back look lo looks like. Um, it is a little bit thinner um, because it's spread out a little bit more than the chocolate that we poured into a mold, but it still has good shape and good thickness. And I'm just using my hands to break up this chocolate a little bit. It's almost like a chocolate bark, which is also just as delicious. Um, and you can break it up into even smaller pieces um, for bite-sized snacks. And there you go. This is how you make homemade vegan chocolate that is very easy to make. It is not expensive. You control the amount of sugar you can put in it. Um, you can control some of the additions and toppings such as nuts and dried fruits. And here, as you can see, I've also made um, some of the chocolates in my mini donut mold, which I think came out so cute. And I think this could make also perfect gifts around Christmas. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. And if you make it, don't forget to post a photo in the next 10 days so you can be entered for the giveaway of my cookbooks.